Um, it's a pleasure to speak with uh, both of you today, Caitlin Bernard and uh, Brenna Llewellyn. Uh, you both star in the upcoming horror film, The Sinners. And uh, I'm not sure if you were aware or not, but February is Women in Horror Month. And uh, it, it's a, in anticipation of, of that, it's uh, great to speak with you both today. Yeah, perfect. I did not know that. That's awesome. Yes. Um, how would you two describe the film, The Sinners? Do you want to go, Brenna? Sure, yeah. Uh, so seven high school girls each are kind of labeled one of the sins by their society, by their peers. And then things start happening and uh, they go missing one by one. Caitlin, what did you think when you read the script for the first time? What uh, drew you into the film? Um, I think there's a, a lot of things that uh, drew me into the film. I think it has a really fun cult classic teenage girl movie vibe to it, um, similar to films like Jawbreaker or Heathers, um, TV shows like Pretty Little Liars or Riverdale. Um, so I loved that aspect of it. Um, and then I also just really fell in love with Grace's character. I think there's... Um, there's so much to her. She's dealing with a lot of um, teenage emotions and rebellion um, and also growing up being the pastor's daughter in a, a very strict religious town and also figuring out her sexuality throughout the film um, just adds lots of layers to um, who she is as a person and as a character. So, yeah. Cool. Brenna, how about you? Yeah. You roll? Similar, um, reading like a, a kind of culty classic teen girl film is always a dream to play and then specifically with Aubrey's character you know her faith is like the pinnacle of everything and so I, I actually grew up in a religious household so getting to bring in some of those memories into the character was was super fun for me and exciting. Great. Uh, either one of you what was the most challenging part of your role in the film? I think with um like any horror or thriller film, um, the days are, are long and emotional um, and physically draining. Um, so I think that that is always a challenge. Um, you're, you get really, really exhausted from screaming or crying um, day after day, um, but I love it. I've, I've been in um, uh, several horror and thriller films, so, so I, I like that, um, but it definitely does get tiring. And by the end, when you're done filming, you're emotionally spent mm -hmm. and physically spent. So I think, yeah, that would probably be the, the most challenging thing. Cool. Caitlin, you played Grace, the ringleader of the Sinners. How, what's your take on your character? Um, well, as I said before, I think that, um, yeah, like she's, she's dealing with a lot, but she tries to have this very um, perfect exterior and she's very much a perfectionist as am I. Um, so she, she wants everything to look perfect on the outside, but on the inside, she's dealing with a lot. Um, at home, um, she's dealing with a lot of, as I said, teenage emotions, struggling with her sexuality. Um, and yeah, it's just, I think it really shows that um, that other side of being the popular girl and how it's not as glamorous as it looks and how there's more to it and more depth and yeah. Okay. And Brenna, your character, Aubrey, she's uh, kind of the good girl in the film, but with the twist. What can you say about her character? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much spoilers you want me to go into, but the, uh, wait, sorry, which specifically would you like to know? Because I know I talked about it briefly a moment before. Um, just give me your take on who your character is and- Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So like I said before, her faith is, is everything to her. And though her sin is pride, she even mentions that, oh, she doesn't even consider pride a sin anyway. Um, she's just so focused on making sure she's going down the right path, that her friends are going down the right path, that when her, when a betrayal, you know, happens to her, it shatters her entire, 
entire world and her whole mindset of what things are like. And so I think that kind of triggers her to, um, you know, it triggers a little bit of a mental health crisis in her <laughs> and she takes her faith to the extremes. Okay. Uh, did ladies, did you have a camaraderie with the other actresses in the film? Uh, mm -hmm. Did that, or did you have to work at it a little bit? Um, I think that like when you have such a great cast, like you just bond really quickly on set, um, especially when you're spending like long days, um, as I said, emotionally and physically uh, demanding days together, you just form those um, those bonds um, inevitably. But we had a lot of really cool bonding um, experiences too. Like before we started filming, we actually went to the mall to take some stills um, and take some photos in the photo booth. And so we got to, to yeah, meet each other and um, start forming those relationships before we even started filming, which was pretty cool. Yeah, and it was so nice because we were shooting um, in Kelowna and there's only a couple of the cast were locals on, on set, but we were all staying in the same in the same city. So we could all like hang out offset as well. And so that was kind of nice to be able to bond in those moments as well. Oh, nice. Well, it looked like uh, uh, you all had a, a great on-screen uh, chemistry. The chemistry, yes, yes, definitely. Um, what was the best part of, of working on a film like this? Either one. There's so many things. I can't just pick one. Um, I think one thing that I really loved about the film is that we had an all um, female lead cast and as well as a, an all female, uh, a female director. Um, Courtney Page is an awesome powerhouse director and um, she's just so hardworking and driven and determined. So I think that that was probably one of my favorites um, in working on this film. Just, um, yeah, seeing, seeing her direct and lead. And I think that she's going to inspire a lot of um, young women to, uh, start directing because of um because of that so yeah like I was definitely inspired myself watching her work on set and seeing where her career is at especially because you know she she was acting before directing as well so just watching that and seeing her bring all these women together it was just it was a magical time nice nice well I believe we're out of time here ladies um Caitlin Brenna I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today. I really enjoyed the film. I thought you both did were great in your roles and uh, I wish you uh, nothing but the best of luck with the film. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too.